Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Geeks 5-Minute News. I'm your host, Mr. Octopi. Today, we're going to be talking about things like AMD's new 7990, uh, quantum computers, uh, Intel's new Ivy Bridge line, some iPad stuff, and even more. So stay tuned, and hopefully you enjoy the show. First up in the news, we have AMD's new 7970, and this is going to be coming up in stores in the next few weeks, months. Uh, basically, it is their dual GPU version of Tahiti, and currently the fastest GPU on the planet is the 7970, or single GPU, I should say. This is going to pack two of those into one actual card. So the specs are that's going to be running at 850 megahertz. That's the core clock, and a five gigahertz effective GPU memory clock. So while I don't know the specs of the 7970 off the top of my head, I assume that they're going to be scaling those down. However, it does mean with two of those GPUs on there, it's going to have three gigabytes, uh, well, two three gigabyte GPUs of memory along with around 2,000 cores. So that should be pretty cool, and hopefully that'll be as performing awesome beast as it claims to be. Well, some of you probably have heard of quantum computers before. I'm not sure all of you have. So let me first start off by explaining just in the really, really basic term what a quantum computer is. Basically, today's computers are ran off of things like electrons, and they travel from place to place carrying information in bytes of ones and zeros. Quantum computer mainly does the same thing. I mean, in really simplistic terms, only it does it with individual atoms. Now, currently, the biggest process a quantum computer has ever done is 5 times 3 equals 15. However, people are researching quantum computers a lot, and they're putting a lot of money into it, a lot of time. Now, I won't go into the specifics, but why are they doing this? Well, basically, what quantum computers provide is to be able to process information simultaneously, instantaneously. I don't know if I said instantaneously twice, but if you don't know what that means, it's really fast. And I'm sure you know what that means. Now, it is estimated that a 250 qubit, which regular computers have bits, these have qubits, Qubits are basically the atoms that, you know, store the information, one, zeros, anywhere in between, blah, 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 blah. 250 qubit computer would be able to process the amount of bits that there are atoms in the universe simultaneously, instantaneously. Now, that's ridiculous. That's extremely fast. But NSA is going a step further, and they're spending $2 billion to create a 512 qubit quantum computer. Now we can argue, you know, how, what the NSA should be doing with that stuff, and if it's right, but they're going to be using it for, you know, surveillance and watching over us, but I'm just going to be here telling you about the actual just science of it, and if this comes, tr like, if they actually build this, that this is going to be a huge leap in human technology or computers, so be on the lookout for quantum computers. If you haven't looked them up, research them. They are amazing. So Ivy Bridge was supposed to come out this year, right? No, wait, wait, was it... Was it June? What? Was it February? Was it... I don't know when it was. Well, now you know. So, basically, what's going to be going on here is that Intel or some people have rumored that Intel Ivy Bridge desktop processors, I assume just desktop, are going to be coming out March 23rd. And that does not mean you're going to be able to buy them March 23rd. That means you're going to be shipping them, doing whatever to, you know, whatever providers. And you can actually buy the hardware on April 29th. Now, here are just a few charts. You know, charts are always awesome. They give you all the information, really easy to read, just a lot of cool stuff to be able to compare parts and everything. So, these all look legit. Um, pricing, watts, cores, everything you need to know. Check it out. I have a bridge coming soon. I'm excited. Who here thinks that solid state drives are going to completely take over the market from hard drives? Well, that may be true eventually, but for now, hard drives have just uh, scored a big win in my book, and I'm sure a lot of people's book if this comes true. 
Seagate has announced that it has hit one terabit per square inch on their disks. Now what this means is much bigger actual hard drives and while I don't know this like I can't explain the specifics of it but basically you know you t it's kind of self-explanatory they can store one terabit of information on a single square inch on one of the disk platters that you have in your hard drives. Now the really high-end one have about five or so and they can go down to I assume a few of them have one for the lower end ones but that means that according to this within 10 years or so which give or take a few years we could be seeing around 60 terabyte hard drives come in here so while they may not be as fast as solid state drives so far hard drives are really going to be packing a punch in terms of storage so I can't imagine hard drives are that big check out this article um, should be Pretty awesome. Hopefully that'll be coming soon. And larger hard drives are always nice. Next up again on the AMD front of things, we have their FX processors. Now the new FX8120 is going to be coming out pretty soon. This is an eight-core version of the processor. It's going to be released for about three hundred ten dollars, and it's going to be shipping with water cooling units. And that should be pretty cool. Uh, they are actually made by Asetek. I'm not sure what company that is, but I'm sure AMD picks at least pretty decent manufacturers to make their water cooling kits. Uh, again, it's 8-core, uh, has 8 megabytes of L3 cache, and who doesn't want an 8-core processor? I might be picking one of these up eventually, but for now, we'll just have to wait until they get released. Last but not least, the Apple iPad was released just a few days ago. It's the iPad 3. Who doesn't like iPads? Nice, expensive, really useful, and this one comes with a retina display. Now, there may have been some rumors popping up saying, you know, it's running 10 degrees hotter and all this kind of stuff, and there have been some disputes, but you can't argue that it looks beautiful and it runs amazingly. So, currently, right now, as it stands, the iPad has sold over 3 million units now that is completely insane um, glad to see Apple selling a bunch of those things because I know those are getting a lot more popular you know tablets all the markets coming in so let me know if you want to pick up an iPad because while I don't have the money it'd be pretty nice to have one alright guys hopefully you enjoyed the show hopefully you found the news useful and as always if you ever want me to track anything or look anything up that you are really interested in the technology world or anything related to that let me know. I'll be sure to, you know, bookmark it on my Google Chrome or something so I can check it out. And anytime any news comes up, I will definitely be putting it up on the show. Also, if you could please leave a comment, like, favorite, whatever you would to be able to help me out. It would be greatly appreciated. And hopefully you will be stay tuned and check me out tomorrow for another Brute News broadcast. As always, I'm Mr. Octopi. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.